Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk a little bit about the Ghost Crew in Star Wars Legion. So if you are a Star Wars Rebels fan, uh, you probably were very, very excited with some recent news for Star Wars Legion because we found out we are getting Sabine in Legion. Very, very fun news. A very, very awesome looking character. A very cool looking model, too, in that it's got a lot of different ways it can be displayed. And so I wanted to do a speculative video on how might we see the rest of the Ghost Crew, the Spectres from Star Wars Legion. And so we're going to talk about that today. Uh, I also want to remind you there is still time to enter the lightsaber giveaway if you would like to win a Star Wars Force FX lightsaber. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment. Let me know which Ghost Crew character is your favorite or which. Uh, character from Star Wars Rebels that's not part of the Ghost Crew you would most like to see. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right into this. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. First off, some characters that they could have, how they could get them all, because you can only have so many, right? So first I want to talk about Kanan. Kanan, I think, would be an amazing commander. Uh, I think he would probably be in the commander format because of the fact that uh, he just seems like a take charge kind of guy. He's in a leadership role throughout a lot of the, uh, you know, through a lot of the show. Not necessarily being in charge of other troops, but be, you know, being in charge of Ezra primarily and, and, and taking charge of his training. And he goes through his own arc. So I could definitely see him as a commander. But since he wasn't often in charge of rebels, I could see him also as an operative. He could be either or, or they could introduce an all new. Uh, an all new type of class as well like maybe instead of commander or operative they introduce like a duo or some other type of unit where he is in charge of maybe just one other person like a mentor you know and then this could even be like a maybe a clone wars thing where you have you know uh, a, a master and apprentice a mentor and padawan something like that it would work for the sith as well as for the jedi uh they could they could have a new type of duo type of mechanic that would allow uh kanan to come into the game. Uh, also, the fact that he is going to fit a couple of the other things that they've got going on. So first off, they could have different outfits for Kanan because they could have different head sculpts at least since he was blinded and then, you know, through part of the show and not blinded through another part of the show, they could have different head sculpts. You could uh, put the face mask on or have the face mask off and have like the scar around the eyes. You could do a couple of those things. You could even put a headband on him. But I think they would at least have two different head sculpts for Kanan, and I could see two different options if you wanted to go with him uh, with, you know, with his lightsaber not, you know, like on his hip and it, like Jedi in disguise. Uh, that would make a really good operative version. Maybe you make two different versions of it. Maybe you make a commander uh, as an out and open Jedi Knight, or maybe you make an operative as like this secret, you know, rogue kind of uh, scoundrel. So you can do co multiple different versions of Kanan. But... The thing is, I think the Rebels could definitely benefit from some from some more Force users, and I think Kanan is the obvious uh, option. Uh, definitely, a, you know, a fan favorite, one of my favorite characters uh, from from Rebels, and it just would be a great a great character, a great opportunity to get more Force abilities in there as well as more um, you know more Jedi. So that would be exciting. You know, I, I think especially since they did announce that they're going to be making Clone Wars for Star Wars Legion. At a certain point, you're going to have like a lot of Force users in the game. And the Rebels are going to probably be stuck with very few. So I think Kanan is a, and Ezra both are great ways to, to get that into the game. Next up, Ezra. So let's talk about Ezra, um, another, okay, another Force user. Um, I think Ezra is one of those characters they could do a lot of different ways. They could have different sculpts, or they could just release two separate versions of him. Uh, I think a lot of us are expecting that they will eventually do multiple versions of, of certain characters. Uh, a lot of people will have painted their Luke to look like Jedi Luke. Um, so you could definitely get different versions of Luke. You get farm boy Luke, Jedi Luke, old man Luke. Um, so there's there's a lot of different, you know, speculation and homebrews for things like that. The same could potentially be uh, true for Ezra. You might potentially see uh, a young, you know, season one Ezra. You might see a season four Ezra. And, of course, I think we're all expecting to someday see an adult or even an old man, Ezra, based on whatever they decide to do with him post-Star Wars Rebels. But for right now, I think the most likely thing is to get the young kid, Ezra, and possibly an alternate sculpt uh, lightsaber arm and alternate sculpt head if they want to do uh, kind of young kid and teenager Ezra, uh, both in the same pack, like kind of like how they did with Sabine. 
Uh, but I could see definitely young kid Ezra being like the the main way to do it, because that was a lot of the way the first way we saw him. Also, it's a cool weapon that would work really really well in the game because it's both a blaster and a lightsaber. So he would have, you know, uh, or they could just give him his slingshot as well. Um, that you know they could give or, or or treat it kind of like how Sabine has the optional dark saber. Maybe base you know bare bones Ezra is. You know, just got his little slingshot. Remember that slingshot he used to have? Maybe he's got that stun slingshot that puts out extra suppression or something like that. And then you can also equip him with his lightsaber blaster. And then he gets a different alternate weapon. And maybe even you give it Arsenal too, right? So he can maybe becomes a dude with Arsenal. I don't know. That might not work. But it's also another opportunity to have more force powers. You could team him up with Kanan. That would be cool. Ezra definitely wouldn't be a commander. He might. But the thing is, I don't know if he's old enough to be an operative yet either so maybe you start looking at like some other way uh that Ezra could be like a duo like an apprentice to Kanan so he becomes an extra miniature onto an existing operative like if if Kanan's card were to have like an upgrade where you can add an extra unit uh you know and maybe maybe it just becomes a new upgrade type maybe you be, you gain a new upgrade type called apprentice or padawan or or just learn or sidekick Maybe we get the sidekick upgrade type, and in his case, he'd be sidekick Padawan, you know, and then, you know, Kanan could potentially take him on. Or in your games, in theory, Kanan could potentially take on other potential sidekicks if they wanted to make other uh, Force-sensitive people that could just team up with Kanan. And that might also be another way for them to get more folks into it, but more on sidekicks later. Um, Zeb. Zeb would be a great uh, guardian. I think he makes... Perfect sense to be a substitute for Chewbacca. Uh, he could potentially get... Um, I don't know if you would give him sidekick the same way that Chewbacca has sidekick uh, with, you know, and team, or rather teamwork with uh, Han Solo. I don't think you have to give Zeb teamwork. I think he could function a little bit differently and be more of a warrior uh, and less of, uh, less of a Chewbacca clone. He obviously was very, very much like Chewbacca, but... You know, he is somebody who I think he would probably have different mechanics. He probably wouldn't have the charge and enrage. I think he would have a baseline courage of three and have it be static at three all the time rather than, you know, losing his courage and gaining charge. But it could be wrong. He might not have to handle that way. Uh, and he could obviously have that uh, blaster that transforms into his, the, the whole, you know, staff and he could get that. Uh, but definitely he would be an operative. I don't see Zeb as being a commander. Uh, and, it, you know, there's a lot of interesting teamworks that he... They could ha give him a special kind of teamwork where he works with the entire Spectre crew. So he could get teamwork on everybody. You know, that would be... that, But that could potentially be broken. So he might just require some all-new mechanics to kind of uh, reinforce him as being uh, very high damage output. But maybe he doesn't have the same you know, damage threshold that Chewbacca does. But I do see him having Guardian. Maybe he's got a red defense die. He, maybe he's only got five health and Guardian. So, you know, like a Guardian with red dice would be really, really good. But if he does start taking damage, then he's going to die quickly. You know, it could be something like that. You could make him a little bit different than Chewbacca, but also give the Rebels another Guardian unit. Maybe he shouldn't have the red defense die. Hmm. Not sure. All right. Um, next up, Hera. My favorite character from Rebels, I absolutely love Hera. I think she's the greatest. And she definitely would not be an operative. Hera has got Commander written all over her. Definitely a Commander. I think it would be kind of cool if Hera were to be some type of vehicle-based Commander. Somebody that reinforces speeders. Especially because they're kind of like ships, right? And she's a pilot, uh, but also a general. So... I just I think it makes a lot of sense to see Hera. She's uh, probably the most likely next candidate to show up. I think either Hera or Kanan would be my top two picks to show up next. Um, but yeah, Hera is a definite, obvious inclusion. She should totally show up in this game. I would love to see her give some kind of real incentive for uh, air speeders and the land speeder as well um, to make them perform a little bit better. Uh, maybe maybe innately or maybe through command cards. Uh, maybe she would have some kind of ability, kind of like how Leia can hand out dodge tokens. Maybe she can hand out a dodge and an aim, but only to heavy, so, you know, or or maybe to any any type of vehicle. Maybe specifically to repulsor vehicles. Maybe she doesn't know as much about ground vehicles. Maybe she's so maybe she wouldn't help the ATRT as much, uh, or maybe she has a command card that does. You know, so something like that would be really really cool. 
It would also be nice if she had some extra functionality like teamwork with Kanan. That would be that would be cool as well, but it wouldn't have to be there. I think uh, I think there's a lot of things they could do with Hera, but uh, she is awesome. I would love love to see her. And of course, Chopper. Chopper, if they're going to do a sidekick mentality, now I'm going to talk about sidekicks a little bit more. Chopper would be fun to have. He could probably have a jump keyword. Uh, he could probably have a decent little melee attack. I don't see him having really any type of ranged attack, but it's possible. If we have seen him grab blasters and kind of run haywire and I think that would be a good little if he's going to have command cards I think it would be kind of cool if he had like a run haywire thing where he just goes on a short spree damaging uh, everybody near him uh, but but that could also backfire in theory he could end up getting you in trouble as well maybe he applies suppression to your own guys when he does it because he's you know blasting and you guys tuck oh, oh chopper's gonna go nuts again and everybody kind of takes suppression I think that would be fun and thematic uh, but let's talk about sidekicks so if we're gonna do like if we're going to do the Ghost Crew, you can't get them all on the board at the same time. And I think that's something that people are really going to want. So what if they started doing a you know a type of unit that had a sidekick upgrade? Uh, I talked about this with Kanan and Ezra. Uh, I think it could work with Hera as well. Uh, and you might even restrict sidekicks to be very specific. Like you might say Chopper can be a sidekick to Hera only. I don't think that has to be the case. I think Chopper could, in theory, be a sidekick to anybody, and I'd like to see it be a little more open-ended. Um, but if you want them to have a lot of synergy, then you would have to probably restrict it, because otherwise it might be overpowered as certain other characters. But if you want it to be just like an extra, uh, an extra hit point for your mini, and something that works with them, that moves together with them, uh, I think that would be a really cool way that you could get, uh, you know, a strike force going at the same time. I, I, simply just adding two minis together and having them function as a single unit would potentially be really powerful because for one it's two minis so that means you can have each one use a different weapon so if they've got good ranged weapons right like if you had Hera and Zeb well Hera's gonna have her blaster pistol it's probably gonna have two or maybe three dice you know a lot of other commanders tend to have like a three die attack or a two die attack that can do multiple attacks so if Hera's got uh, a, a, two, a three die attack and then Zeb who will probably have at least a four or five die ranged attack maybe four let's say four so that's seven dice for one unit that's not bad now granted you probably have to pay a lot for both of those so there's definitely some interesting ways that you could work it uh, and it may have to be a way where you actually take the, the unit card and you, you kind of pair them together as one unit through some type of uh, sidekick ability um, I'm not sure exactly how they would make that work but I think uh, you know, Chopper would be a great sidekick for Hera to have. For one, he's also another mini, so he'd have hit points. So if somebody does start attacking Hera, Chopper can potentially take that damage first, which is something he would do. He would be her, like, he's like her faithful little puppy. So that's definitely something that he would do. Uh, and then also, he, um, you know, he could have a little melee attack too if she gets, if you get in close, because Hera would probably be more about shooting uh, and less about melee. See, she still can defend herself in a melee, but, you know, Chopper could shock you if you get into a melee with her because they'd be part of the same unit. Also, a side, some kind of sidekick mentality would be a great way for them to be able to give you more iconic characters to work together. Uh, as far as the original trilogy characters too, if you want to get Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, Lando, 3PO, R2, uh, Rex, who was at the Battle of Endor, right? If you want to get all of these characters to work together, uh, you know, on the map at the same time, you can't do that with the current rule set. So maybe another type of upgrade, some kind of sidekick mentality would work. I think the Ghost Crew is a great way for them to introduce that, um, and it would be really cool. So that's what I got for you today. There are certainly are other characters in Star Wars Rebels that could show up. Let me know in the comments what other characters you want to see. Ahsoka, Thrawn, Callus, somebody else that I've missed perhaps. The Bendu. Okay, that's no, we're going a little bit too far. Bendu would be kind of crazy. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you today. I want to give a big shout out to all my Patreon uh, patrons. You guys definitely help make this all possible. I want to thank all of you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, leave, click that bell for alerts. Check out crabbock.com. Hop in Discord. Say hi to us over there. I want to thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.